What is going on, everybody? Welcome back. We are finally back, continuing the Song of Horror journey. We're finally on episode three, A Twisted Tale. Uh, man, it's been like, I want to say close to three months since we've played episode two. I told you guys from the beginning that we're going to spread these out, you know? Because when this game was initially coming out, the episodes were released over the course of like a year, okay? That's my reasoning, I'm sticking to it. A twisted tale, boys, let's go. That had not been a nightmare. I was awake, for certain. It was a hallucination. A hallucination like, like those described by father in his letter shortly before hanging himself from a beam in his office. Oh, damn, that was last episode. Or something worse. Much worse. Had it done any good to return the music box to its owner? Husha might have the answer. Ooh, but she's scary. Her was still unknown. And his trail seemed to have gone cold as the days passed by. Perhaps in his office, somewhere in his papers. Among the documents he was researching delving into the box's origins. Maybe there would be some clue in there as to where he had gone or what he had done. Something that would help us to follow his footsteps. I had to find Sebastian Husha, but this time, my life depended on it. You listened to the box, Daniel. Yeah, fucking son of a bitch. <laughs> this is so unnecessary. Grace. A PhD student and Husher's mentee, and Professor Nasiri, one of his associates, gladly agreed to give us a hand with the search. They used to stay up late working in Husher's office, so that seemed like a good place to start. We had no idea how serious the situation was, if we'd known about his family. Those poor children. I hope we can at least find out what exactly he was after, and where he went. There are some papers on his desk that haven't been touched since he left. We have a good chance of finding something there. Lately, I feel like something odd has gotten into Professor Husher. I mean, apart from his usual oddities. He seemed anxious about something and looked like he hadn't slept properly in days. No offense, Mr. Noria, but it looks like it's the same for you. Don't worry, none taken. I'm well aware. Clark's this is his desk. Daniel. As you can see, there are a bunch of documents he uses as research for his novels. It's all here. We better take a look at his computer and the shelves, too. The sooner we get started, the sooner we'll find something out. Look at this here. There are some notes where he mentions the music box, but I can't quite understand what he means. AA375 is underlined. AA, uh, that's how the documents in the Donations and Biographies Archive are designated. Maybe he was looking for something there. Biographies. Let's start with the Archive, then. Where is it? Donations and Biographies are on the basement level. I'm sure it will be closed, but we can easily find the janitor or a key. It's not a very busy area. Okay. Husher was looking for something in the archive of donations and biographies. Finding it could be the first step in discovering something. <coughs> okay. How many characters do we got to work with this time? Just the three, I'm assuming? What happened to Farber's daughter? What was her name? Erica Farber? Oh man. It's all coming back to me. The, um... The permadeath, dude. So we can't lose Daniel, right? I'm just gonna warn you. Daniel's story must continue. If you lose him, you'll have to restart the episode. So, let's save Daniel for last. So let's send one of these other two fucking jobbers, dude. <laughs> we got Grace Richards. Or we got Omar Nasiri. Right, let's send Omar, dude. An associate professor at the State University of Arts and Humanities. Okay. He's an Let me go. I know the right? place. You keep searching this area. All right, Omar. Don't fuck. Man. And so, yeah, the permadeath. I remember now. 
it's all coming. It's all rushing back to me, dude. Uh, if you basically, if you have your character die, you lose. That's it. Jesus. October 3rd, 1998. A twisted... Why is it so dark in here, dude? This what place. Is... There's something in the atmosphere. Something evil. Great. I like how you came alone. Where are these where are they finding these fluorescent bulbs, dude? What kind of dollar store are they buying them at? Because they're wrong, but it's still so dark in here, dude. What the fuck? These books are here to entertain visitors. More than okay. Let's take a look around. Old copies of the News World paper. Look at this, Mr. Glover. I tried to give you back your access card, but I couldn't find you. I thought you were in the downstairs control room, but I see you're not. Anyway, I'm going away for the long weekend, and I'm going to wait for you to turn up. I'm not going to wait for you to turn up, Jesus. Hold on. This, is, this might be easier. We don't all have as much free time as you. <laughs> Damn. Go to the shelves of the subject taught by Professor Dunn. From there, stand in front of the shelves that would contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right as the size of Dunn's hat, and look on the upper shelves. Don't mistake the professor's hat for mine, they're very different. In fact, I'll take my own with me just to make sure. Goodbye and enjoy the long weekend. P.S. I'm not taking my hat at the end, Marino. What? Marino. He's always the same. That man needs a therapist. Notes from the admin staff? I don't know whether people come here to do research or to get food out of the machine. Ain't nobody coming here anymore, dude. All you need is a goddamn phone. How bizarre the cleaning staff will never leave the trolley in the in the way. Oh god. Look at all these books, dude. Shelf C. We're gonna have to just... Mm, no. Mm -mm. Mm, no, no. So we're looking for... Wow, I'm still mm -mm. searching. Mm -mm. So hold on. This is all ready. We're, we're hitting the ground running with these goddamn puzzles. Um, so he left. Yeah, so I'm guessing he left his access card. Uh, okay, we don't have all the info that we need yet. Handwriting of the notes might be Sebastian's, but I'm not sure. Grace would probably know. We're just good at that sort of thing. So they're just gonna be... Holy shit, dude. Aha! History! The Mad Hatter. Funny cartoon of one of the professors. Um, okay, let's continue looking. My controller is vibrating. I think it's in poor taste to have a snack machine here, although Grace says I've been uptight. It's just asking for irresponsible people to get food stains on the books, dude. Okay. Library classification. It's kind of like a map of the, um... Of where the books are situated. Well, let's check out some of these doors. There's so much to investigate. Dispenser's full. Need an access card. Okay. Damn it. Folders containing various records. This shit is useless. Grace hates these fax machines. She says they're old-fashioned and that email is the future. She might be getting a bit overexcited there. Dude, 
I still work with some people mm -hmm. in some offices that use fax machines. Fucking fax machines. Hold on, listen. We're good. Um, so I was seriously consider considering like turning off permadeath because, dude, both in, ep both in episode one and two, we ended up getting fucked over by the permadeath, right? Each time, each episode so far, I've had to restart off stream just from scratch. This looks like a tip. If people would just make the effort to put things in the bin. Lazy bastards. Zachary done. Coffee machine doesn't seem to be working. These fucking coffee machines always grossed me out. You know what I mean? Look at this! A short brimmed hat. Made of brown felt. There is something about, um... Mm -hmm. a hat made of brown felt. According to the label, it's size 6. There's a label inside. Size 6, motherfucker. So hold on. Let's go back to our documents. Um, go to the shelves of the subject taught by Professor Dunn. From there, stand in front of the shelves that would contain my surname. Count as many shelves to the right as the size of Dunn's hat. Wait, is that Dunn's hat? Because he said don't confuse it. Hold on. There's another hat here. A top hat. Made of black felt. This is so ridiculous. Why is everyone talking in riddles? This one's size 8. My controller's vibrating again. Steph. Hold on. Marino. Signed by Marino. Let's look at the faculty. Marino. He's on uh, the very top, second from the right. He's wearing the top hat. He's so Marino wears the top hat. So that means it's Dunn's hat. Don't confuse it with mine, right? So it's got to be six. So that's probably him. That's Marino, the Mad Hatter, dude. History. So Marino teaches history. Jesus Christ, dude. Newspaper from August. What's it doing here? Let's check out some of these doors. We're figuring it out, boys. He's gotta investigate. So this is Marino's office, I'm assuming. Some booze. Records of former students. What would Marino need these for? Former students. This bust is almost unrecognizable. Hmm. Never seen that bust. Mariso? Mariso. <laughs> what the fuck am I saying? Professor Marino! You guys. It's a struggle. Loves model ships. Mariso Perino. Exam dates. Exam dates. Interesting. Professor's butterfly collection. Grace despises them. She says it's psycho to keep that there. You fucking crazy. With your fucking butterflies, dude. You're sick. <laughs> Zachary Dunn. So this is Dunn's office. Listen. We gotta be careful, man. We got permadeath still on. Professor Dunn is one of the most highly qualified teachers we have. Private paperwork. Got the window, dude. Don't see anybody on campus. Summer renovation work is 
really far behind. The professor's desk seems big enough to hide under. Make a mental note of that shit. Okay. Notes by Professor Dunn about this academic research. Interesting, but not helpful right now. 12.30 exam! Wait, 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 wait. Wednesday the 16th of December. This is so ridiculous. Okay. Go to the shelves of the subject taught by Professor Dunn. So we need to find out what he teaches, first of all. Dunn has set up his own semi-private library. So, okay, Wednesday the 16th, and in... If we go back to, um... We go back to this room, right? There was a schedule... ...of exams. December 16th, Literature 2. No, it was at 1.30. 12.30? Literature, first term... French. He teaches French. 12.30? Right? Was that it, you guys? <laughs> okay, let's see if what we have, what we need. Let's go back to the library. Let's go back to the books. You gotta be careful, man. You can't just, like, run through doors willy-nilly. This one's locked as well, so we need an access card for that. The music is getting intense. Projector cable is missing. The people in this department have a problem with other people's stuff. Oh, we need to find a projector cable. Husher is per perfectly capable of leaving a packet of cigarettes here. Can he be using the projector? Okay. Gotta find a reel? No, we gotta find the cable. Okay. Shelf. Languages, right? So it's I, J, or K. I, J, or K. And it was on the far wall by the looks of it. Okay, hold on. Let's take a look. Okay, go to the shelves of the subject taught by Professor Dunn. From there, stand in front of the shelves that will contain my surname. His last name's Marino, right? Surname, wait, wait, wait. Surname is last name, right? It's like family name. Because his name was, remember, if you remember the faculty, it was like Joseph? Joseph Marino? But that doesn't make any sense. The language is, is I, J, and K. But his last name is M. Unless it's J. Okay, it's either J or M, right? And then it's gonna be... <sighs> Count as many shelves to the right as the size of Dunn's hat, which is a six. And look on the upper shelf. J. Let's start with J. So six to the right. One, two, three, four. It's this one. Top shelf. Could be wrong. It's either this one or we'll have to go from M. But it doesn't make any sense if it's going to I, J, or K. No. No? Wait! There's something here! Hold up, guys. For real, though. Surname is not first name. Hmm. It's the janitor. Wait. Maxwell Glover. Okay, no. So, okay, we, we got... 
As bullshit as it was, we got the magnetic card. That's great. It only took us 20 minutes. There's two doors locked behind the magnetic. There you go. Listen. Sometimes I can't tell. This game just has like default creepy ambience. You know what I mean? There's so much audio visual material here that it still hasn't all been classified. Get to work. Look at that CRT, man. Maxwell's recording. He's the janitor. Voice recording of Maxwell. The history department janitor. I just saw something weird as fuck. I was out having a smoke because Miss Claire doesn't like me. Is it weird as fuck? Box, even though the students do it all the time. When I came back, the slide machine had switched on by itself. Professor Usher once mentioned that the same thing had happened to him, so I thought it was just acting up again. I went to turn it off, and I saw there was a picture of the old archive door projected on the screen. Then, the door started to open. I couldn't look away. And when it opened a bit more, I could have sworn I saw the control room from downstairs. And not just that. There was someone in there holding the release lever. It was me. I was in there. I, I pulled the cable, took the slides and got the hell out of there. Where did he take the cable? I need that cable, Maxwell. Look. Okay. It's black stuff. It doesn't look like just dirt. So weird. So fucking weird. Listen. We haven't found a map yet, have we? Oh, downstairs. Are we gonna go to the control room that Maxwell was talking about? These games, dude. The locker is open. Person could ha fit inside, so that's another hiding spot. are slower. I think I've said it before. I've talked about it before. It's definitely like... It's definitely... This game is definitely like a... It's like an old school adventure game. Good. Reminds me of like one of those old school like late 90s, early 2000s point click adventure games. Look at this. Is that the lever? How do we get in there? It feels strange that Maxwell isn't there at the other side of the window. Where did he go? I won't be able to get in here, will I? Oh, never mind. Mm -hmm. Maxwell's notes! This door. This motherfucking door from the slides. I could see myself behind it and now it's real and I can open it. The image from the slides is a door. I can get the chain off, but I'm going to need the key. I need to open it in order to get out. It's all so dark, but if I can get out, maybe there is a light out there. Is there anything on the back? Oh, the lever. He could see himself pulling the lever, remember. Okay, no scares yet, dude. And apparently this game is like... The scares are like... Not scripted. They're random. So certain people might experience things... 
Excuse me? I have to find a way to keep this lever lowered. Keep it lowered? Use your reading glasses! <laughs> why, why is this? It's a passive item. And I'm assuming that's... Is that this door? No. No, no, no. It's gotta be that other door. <gasps> the fucking cable. Mm. Now we're talking, boys. The old archive has needed renovations for years. I'm not surprised these books are in here. We need a map of this place, man. Mm -hmm. Looks like the door is ajar. Oh! Mm. Look, there's bolt cutters right there. Should I just... Yeah. Okay, we're good. Mm -hmm. Shears! Used to cut metal. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Dude, sometimes you'll just, like... You'll just get fucked with one wrong decision, right? And sometimes you don't even know, like there's no way for you to know. I know that happened to me a couple times in the last episode. The worst one was when Daniel just got shot. Right? Do you guys remember that shit? That was some grade A bullshit. Because there was nothing I could have done. The only way to find out that the cop was going to shoot you is just for it to happen. And it's an instant death. This is good. Okay, so we're gonna need something to uh, hold the lever in place. So I'm not gonna be able to go through that door yet. But let's go and use this projector cable. The weird thing is, I have a feeling some bullshit's gonna happen once we power on the projector. Yeah, so like, all the scares are fucking random. So like, I told you guys how like, both in episodes 1 and 2, I lost all my characters and had to replay it off camera. And while I was replaying it, just like, different shit happens, dude. Encountered different scares. <gasps> oh, this heart. Gotta keep the circle tight. really hard. So yeah, I gotta use my analog triggers. Squeeze them hard or light depending on the white circle. The white ring is very difficult. Motherfucker, please. Yeah. This is the point where you leave. I barely got out alive. This is the point where you go get help. Go get Daniel. The fuck was that noise? My controller's still vibrating. He's still freaking the fuck out. Okay, shall we use? I have a feeling this isn't going to be anything like giving a class. I don't have any slides to put in the projector! We need to find some slides. Shit.
Okay. Listen. Good. Where's my light source at, by the way? Did I, like, unequip my lighter? Where's my light? Where the fuck is my light? Oh, I do have a map! Look at this! Okay. Maybe I just can't use it in this room. I don't know how the cleaning staff manage it with such a small basin. Cleaning products? Come on, is there really nothing in here? Wow, wow, wow. Uh huh? Slides. Mm -hmm. Are you fucking me right now, dude? We got it, dude. What's this? Random tools. Keep in mind, we still have the shears, the bolt cutters. That's the one that Maxwell was talking about. So I can select them? Is this, is this supposed to be like a hint? What is that? Are these areas? Okay, that's just a, that's just a monster. I don't know what the fuck that is. Wait, is that a key? It's like a key on a desk. But surrounded by black mist. And this is, of course, the door that we're looking at. Can you, like, swap them? No. Okay, let's go up to the door. Oh, shit. Oh, I thought for sure I'd be able to go and examine the door. That's creepy as fuck. There's like a silhouette of a person there, too. Oh, shit. Now let's approach it. Oh, fuck. That wasn't there before. Why is this so scary? Stop being so fucking scary! Okay, we are back. And, uh, we did look this up. Um, I do- I was- I was correct in the sense that it has something to do with, like, the order of the slides, you know? Um, but I don't know if I would've- I don't know if I would've figured this shit out on my own, dude. So... I think this one's first. So we're gonna put it there. Okay. And now the door... should be... last. Hold on, I gotta let one of my cats out. Frank. Frank. My goodness. Okay, so the door is last. So now we take the door one, we put it in the final slot. Good. Uh, so the first slot is correct. And so this one should be the middle slot. Swap those two. This one should be second. Put it there. And that means this one's in the correct spot. So I think we're good. So now if we go check... 
Wait, the music box. That wasn't there before. Whoa, this is scary. That wasn't like that before. So, before there was, like, chains over the door, like it's goddamn Silent Hill 4, plus there was, like, a figure in front of it. Oh, shit. Here we go, boys. This reminds me of, uh, Layers of Fear 2. It's unbelievable. Don't do it. Don't do it, Omar. Wait, what? Oh, that's right, just like the recording. We're back here. He's like, it's the control room. What kind of hellish place have I gotten into? Oh yeah, this ain't good. A hand saw. Hmm. Oh! Oh god. I gotta cut his fucking hand off. And then this is what we'll use, I guess, in the real world to hold down the lever? I'm sure we could have figured something else out, Omar. Oh god. Oh, it's all floppy. Look at it, dude. There's no rigor mortis here. Hold on. There's a ring on the ring finger. Oh. This is gross. I can't believe what I just did. Hold on. How much do you guys want to bet? Can we get out of here now? How much do you guys want to bed? Shears? The severed hand. Uh huh. We got the wedding ring. A wedding ring obtained by chopping off its owner's finger. There's an engraving. Mm -hmm. Max and Chloe. My god, it's the janitor's ring. How is this? How the fuck is this? Where is that shit possible, dude? Okay. But okay. The good news is... Is, uh, I'm using my lighter again. Okay. We know what must be done. We gotta go use the hand on that fucking lever now, don't we? Being the cat. One of my cats is still in the room. For emotional and moral support, dude. on that VHS tape though. You know what I'm saying? Okay. I guess... I guess the hand is heavy enough, dude. Looked at a little... Oh shit. I didn't listen, that was risky. To me. I haven't been here in so long. What's that noise? You guys hear that shit? Look at all these old computers. 1998 hardware, dude.
There's nothing useful here. Nothing useful here either. Just a bunch of shit here. There's gotta be something on one of these fucking things, dude. How about from the other side? European families, great and small. A compilation of biographies of prominent members of high society. You know, like me, dude. The House of Le Grant, which later merged with the House of Amsburg. Volume XC2 ended ups and downs. Over the years, the rise and fall of an industrial empire and the squandering of a legacy by Arcos Legrant, last heir to the huge family fortune, who spent his life obsessed with investigating the paranormal, make this one of the most thrilling volumes of this collection. Interesting. Is that like... No, that's just like one of those bonus collectibles, right? Platinum, dude. This game's coming out on PlayStation, or consoles at least. Um, I think it was PC exclusive up until just recently. Which is cool, man. Because while I, I totally recognize that this game's not going to be up everybody's alley, it's still it's like really well made for the type of game that it is. Oh! Why did lights go out? I've got what I was looking for. I should get out of here. Are you serious? I was just looking for the book? I really want to know what's making this fucking noise. I don't really want to dilly dally though, dude. Oh shit. Uh -huh. Abyss! You're sinking! Get out as quickly as you can to escape repeatedly, press A. They'll try to catch you by the arms. To prevent this, press X or B at the right time. If you don't manage it, you'll have to free yourself by pressing the same button several times. Don't take too long, or you'll definitely sink. Oh, shit. <laughs> got dragged to hell, dude. Interesting. That was all scripted. We're in a different place now. So I guess he found the book that he was looking for. We don't have a map to this area. <gasps> Daniel. We're done. I think this is part of what Husha was investigating. Let's see. Hmm. It's a book about Argos Le Grant. A biography or a collection of articles about him, I think. He apparently spent part of his life traveling the world in search of odd, rare events. Rich people stuff. I don't know. The biography suddenly ends right after his last journey. It says here. He returned without his equipment, without the huge amount of money he wasted on the project, and with a simple memento of the music he brought home to his little girls, eight-year-old Elaine and newborn Ariadne. And here's a note from Hasha that says, See the archives, events, newspaper. Is there a newspaper archive over here? Don't send me by myself, man. Come on, dude. So wait, we were in the same building the whole time? They couldn't just come downstairs with my ass? Oh god, this is part two! Okay, Grace, you're going. 
I'll go take a look. You check out what else is in that notebook. Grace, you're up, lady. That's kind of funny. Are we going back down there? I sure checked a news item in the history department's newspaper archives. Why did... Why he did remains a mystery. Hey, at least she's got a flashlight. I have to find the newspaper Professor Husher was looking for. Okay. Exam results. Let's listen in. Oh, we're legit? Oh, I thought we were back in the same area. No, this is a different part of the school entirely. <clears throat> we do have a map, though. Damn, they got an entire area for historical newspaper archives? Jesus. Fire alarm? Damn, we just gotta try try some doors. We just gotta try it. Fuck it. So damn, dude, this. Oh my god. 1979. Microfiches. <laughs> right? Am I saying that right, dude? Holy shit. It's like finding a needle in a goddamn haystack. News world. We don't even know. We're probably gonna have to come back here later once we have a bit of context for what we're looking for. That's okay. Coffee machine. More than one person has written stuff here. Telephone cord has been pulled out. Can't phone home, dude. I could fit under this table. Good to know. God damn it. Professor Husher is a. L what does that mean? A Luddite? When it comes to techno- well, I've never heard of that in my life. So I can't imagine he's been investigating here at this desk. Does that mean he doesn't know technology? He's a fucking idiot. Windows are almost always shut in here. Did those lights turn off behind me? Damn, none of the computers are working. Getting access to certain information would make life easier. If only I had a soul. Oh, 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 oh. That was so weird. What the fuck? That was so weird, though. What a bummer, I can't get in there. Boxes weigh a ton. Holy nuts. I wonder if the microfiche has always been up been archived. What is that word? Is that like a fucking boomer word that I just don't even know? Fuck. Of course we need a goddamn key. The office? Son of a bitch. Books about art and history. The shitters. This one's bolted? Is that a chain? Who put this heavy chain here? How about the restrooms? Oh, 
Oh, wow. Why are these so dank? Help me. Oh, Max? Please. Is it you? Don't do it. Max? Don't, don't you it's fucking me. dare. Grace. Are you okay? No, 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 no. I can't get out. My flashlight is out of batteries. I need batteries. Okay, Max, don't move. I'm gonna find some batteries. Graffiti reminds me of high school. I was to say, this is like such a nice fucking fancy, um... Fancy fucking school, and then all of a sudden this bathroom is like straight out of... Straight out of the goddamn ghetto. Check the men's. I don't know if I trust Max in there, dude. <sighs> a blocked drain and a dripping tap. I've been in washrooms worse than this. To be fair. Clogged drain. Good to know. Who knows, maybe I'll need to like rinse some shit off later on. Dip something in water. Okay. Checking these off the list. Let's go. Why is it so cold all of a sudden? Oh no. Why is it cold though? Can I hide? God, what's going on in here? Why am I so fucking cold? No, 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 no. Let's try one of these goddamn doors. Oh, thank God. <sighs> I need a cup of hot coffee. Okay. More doors. This. Wait, oh, how much you want to bet? Batteries. Battery cover is stuck. Son of a bitch. Do I have anything else? Oh, I still have... He gave me, like, his fucking wedding ring? Okay. Sure. I still have the shears. That's interesting. Caffeine pills. Why did I just take that? And I guess it looks like we still have two uses left. Okay. Let's listen. Everybody shut the fuck up. Damn it. Break the sensor outside. There's a sensor? Huh! Ah! No. Don't even... What? Sounding really spooky in here, dude. Look at this. Notes from a painter. I brought the secretary flowers today. And she wasn't there. Nobody was. Where did everyone go? The whole crew was supposed to be here today. 
to paint. If this is a joke, I don't think it's funny. I'm not painting by myself. I'm not gonna sit here and bum around until the joke is over. If you're not here by then, I'm out of here. You can tell the boss if you want. Tell him why you think it's funny for all of you to disappear just because I was half an hour late. See if he laughs. What? It's not funny. Seriously, it's not. Turn on the lights. Please turn on the lights. Please. The renovations are only half done. All the materials are just left abandoned. Can of paint. Full of red paint. I guess we'll take it. Dried out red paint. The paint is totally dry. Wonder if I can take it to that that sink with the water. Interesting. Let's get out of here. Let's be gone, dude. The fuck was that noise? Harry's office sensor. The door must be closed. The sensor. But what? Maybe you can do something about deactivating that movement sensor, but not with this. Are you kidding me? What else would you possibly use? <sighs> okay, there's a ladder. Maybe with the paint. Paint over it, dude. Let's finish checking these rooms. Departments hold meetings here. Looks like something forced them to abandon a meeting halfway, though. And my flashlight is fucking. Listen. Flashlight just went out. What are those fucking pictures? What the fuck is that shit? I don't think there's anything for me here. Just some spooks. It's not even a hiding place in here. Hold on, listen again, just to be safe. Sounds clear to me. Okay. I'm gonna guess this is locked. Never mind. Kitchen area? There's something on that table. Yes. Mechanical pencil. A metallic mechanical pencil. The tip is surprisingly fine. Interesting. Okay, another hiding spot there. Good. I just heard like a knock at the door. Did you guys hear that? I felt I felt the vibration in my controller too. I don't think we want to go through the other door. It probably just leads back to this same hallway though. Space in the archives. Why wouldn't those be there? Doesn't make any goddamn sense. I'm assuming this just goes back to the break room. Of course. Lockers are closed. Oh, hold on. I just had a thought. The mechanical pencil. To open the battery compartment? Okay, let's 
good. Let's finish checking the rooms, though. Gotta be so goddamn methodical with this game, dude. Damn it. So Maxwell probably has the keys. Don't want to go in there. No, sir. No, we do not. This one sounds okay. Great. Fuck you, Marino. Yo, what? What kind of goddamn university is this? What's this? A paint roller. So we got paint. We got a paint roller. Should maybe cover up some of this goddamn graffiti. Let's check the end of the hole. The heavy chain. Oh, this is the emergency exit. This leads back. Can't leave yet. Okay. I'm guessing that's probably gonna be my exit. I'm guessing. Let's go back to the bathroom. Be careful. Be fucking careful. <sighs> Let's try this one first. Let's get, uh, the batteries over to the janitor. <sighs> I wonder if this is a mistake. There's only one way to find out. Max, I found batteries for you. Oh, thanks. It's so dark in here. So dark. Yes. These colorful ass keys. You beautiful bastard. I still don't know if I... If I trust that that was Maxwell. Oh, shit. Oh, I gotta block it. Destroying my controller with this shit. Jesus Christ, my whole life just flashed before me. Max? Where are you? Max? Fucking son of a bitch. This game? It's got its moments, boys. It does. Let's listen. Can't go out there yet. What the hell? We gotta wait a bit longer. Is there anything else in here? It's gone. There's no option to listen, so it's fine. Okay. Let's try the water in the sink. I'm guessing with the paint can? I don't know. No, what do I use the wedding ring for? Yep. Paint is ready to apply, bitch. Look at it. I combine. Okay. Very cool. But what do I paint? Is the question. 
Uh, well, it could be... There's a couple things we can try. First of all, we have the keys, so we can open all these goddamn doors. Also, there's that sensor to the, um... Secretary's office. Can I try painting it? <laughs> Just a little redecorating. That's what it is? Are you serious? Hopefully I got the damn thing to stop working. Fucking believable. Let's listen. I think that sounds okay. Sometimes it's hard to tell, dude. We're good. Look at this. Plastic key. Number 10? Interesting. Ain't nobody here. Did a door just open by itself? Oh no. Oh no 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 no. Oh! Oh shit. Okay. Newspaper archive secretary's office. August 17th. Your girl, Jill. Room A, Professor Wesk. Room B, Professor Husher. Room C is empty. So we gotta go to room B. Becca, read this as soon as you see it. <laughs> well, odds are she's reading it when she got it. Professor Husher is acting weird. He wanders around the archive all day, lost in thought. It's odd, even for him. He barely even answers me. Sometimes he carries a music box. He winds up every now and then. Mr. Spencer has taken him to task several times. And whenever he does that, it looks as if Husher has just not woken up. Then he goes back to his office and spends hours holed up in there. Chris says he's <laughs> the same at night, if not worse. We think he slept in his office because no one has seen... No one has seen what? Him leave and William says he heard strange noises that sounded like screams. But he went to check. No one was there. Today, he asked me about the Northern Advisor Archives, a small newspaper from Godforsaken Little Town, 1913. If you notice anything really weird, call security. No one has seen Max for days. Something tells me that before the holidays are over, something is going to happen. I have a bad feeling about this. I also love that they're using all Resident Evil names. Okay, Wesk is a reference to Wesker, right? You got Spencer, the Spencer Mansion. You got Chris, Chris Redfield. Then you got William, William Birkin. I think that's definitely intentional. The fax that hasn't been picked up. It's an urgent warning, but the date is from weeks ago. What the fuck? So hold on. We can probably go and check that, um, the microfiche, right? Okay, guys, we're just gonna take a quick break, and uh, we will be right back. Okay, and we're back. Well, there's a lot we can do, man. We still we got the keys. We can basically explore. There's two rooms there. There's four rooms we can now investigate. Let's and then we gotta go and get uh, the microfiche. So. Maybe we'll do the rooms first. Maybe we'll use the keys first. Just to see. Um, so which... So there's two doors over here. Right? This is one of them. Let's, uh, listen. Good. These materials here belong to Professor Lowry. What a bitch. 
Just as well I passed your class ages ago. Is that all that's in this room? That fucking bitch, Professor Lowry. <laughs> I guess they gotta have some filler rooms. Okay. That's acceptable. Next door. Hold on, some bullshit's happening. Oh, what the fuck? Where's my hiding spot? Hiding spot, hiding spot, hiding spot. Fuck, 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 fuck. There's one back in the break room. Oh wait, there's one straight ahead. Oh! What has happened? Is it over? You guys see all the monitors and the fucking... The office area, they were all going nuts! Okay. Should we take some goddamn caffeine pills? Does that settle her down? Does that make her simmer down, dude? I, I couldn't really listen in on, on the door. Because there's too much happening around me. Omar mentioned that Professor Husher liked this type of painting. Could he have been in here? Hasty note. Legrant Amsberg. Wealthy but fallen on hard times during the 20th century. What happened? Death of Argos Legrant. Check records and investigate the family past and present. Heirs, distant relatives. I have to find out about his life, but also his death. 17th of March. So, are we assuming that Argos Legrant, because remember we read that he was obsessed with the paranormal or whatever, he must have at some point had the music box? And the reason why he was so obsessed is kind of the same reason that Husher is obsessed. He's being haunted by it. Same reason that Daniel is. My controller's vibrating like crazy and I can hear heartbeats. Careful. Listen. We're okay. We are okay. Let's go to the rooms on the other side. Look at her fucking face, dude. She's scared as hell. I think this door is locked. It sure is. Listen. Good. of film scattered about everywhere. I can't imagine Professor Husher found anything useful in here. Look at that goddamn computer, dude. Microfish reader. Oh. Uh, okay, we're gonna have to come back here. 100%. We have to go find what we need with the uh, in the archive, and then go back to that room. But let's check out the final locked door. Listen. Clear. Is this another one? There are three. Uh, there are three. In the newspaper archive. There's two of them. That's interesting. Professor Husher usually wears clothes that look like this. Maybe you have to come to this one. So we gotta find exactly what he was looking for. So there's two readers. That's interesting. But there's something different about this one, right? What year was it? 1913? That's what we needed the newspaper from? Oh, 
Oh god. Uh, let's check my notes again. Northern Advisor, 1913. 1970, 1979. We're going back in time. This world. Ah! Oh shit! Oh fuck, get out! No, 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 There's a hiding spot. Right here, right here. Go, go, go. Breathing. Breathe. Match the heartbeat. She's got bad teeth. She's got really bad teeth. Holy fuck. Okay, lady. Let's get out of here. Fucking Jaws. Jesus Christ, my whole life just flashed before <laughs> Okay. Let's go. We're close. Nineteen thirteen is what we need. I would actually be so fascinated to read some old newspapers from like my area. You know what I mean? Eighteen hundreds, and we're too far back. Oh, hold on. Oh, we're so close. Northern advisor. This should. This is the one. Is it locked? Motherfucker. 30. Yes. Okay. Oh, look at that fucking PVM, dude. That's nice. <laughs> My girlfriend thinks I'm obsessed with CRT TVs. Okay. So we're gonna try the other one. I feel like, I gotta say, I feel like I'm getting stuck less in this episode. Oh shit. Day, month, year. Hold on. Uh, 1913. Hold on. Hasty note. Hasty note. 17th of March. You guys see this? Are you guys seeing this? This is really cool. I've never seen one of these machines. I didn't even know this was the thing. Fetch, bitch. Print? To go through the damn this is crazy crime reports opinion 
Meteorology. Classifieds. What section would he be looking in? What section would he be looking in? What makes sense? Crime reports? Opinion. I found the news story Professor Husher was looking for. I have to get out of here. Yes! Let's read it. Legrant Amsberg family dies. Argos Legrant, the Legrant family heir and owner of the business conglomerate LGA Inc., has died in mysterious circumstances along with his wife and his elder daughter, who is eight years old. The events took place last night in the family's holiday home, where they were spending some time in spring after the well known magnet and had been on a trip. Jesus Christ. Although the authorities have said very little in their public statements and the lines of investigations are open, the strongest theory so far is that the family has been the victim of a violent robbery. With the only survivor being the younger daughter, Ariadne, who is safe and sound under the care of police officers. Is she still around? Is she still around? Was she that old lady? Hmm. Okay. Operation, get the fuck out of here. Do we go to the emergency exit? Or can we go back through the door from which Twitter where we came? <laughs> Let's go back to the front entrance. Try that out first. Okay, boys. Okay. Help! The bathroom, the bathroom, the bathroom. Oh! Thank God I had the bolt cutters! Holy shit, if I didn't have the bolt cutters, it would've been done. We made it back. Are you fucking me right now? There's something here. A note from a certain Sylvia that says, Professor Husha, remember to pick up your typewriter and the rest of your belongings from the library desk. This is the university library. If you need your own space, you can use your office. If Husha left documents in there, it may be worth taking a peek, too. This might have something to do with Husher's investigation. Let me see. Oh, God, did you read that? Argos Legrand, heir to the Legrand family and owner of the LGA Incorporated business conglomerate, has died under mysterious circumstances along with his wife and eight-year-old daughter. It occurred last night at the family's holiday home, where they were spending part of the spring after the famous magnate's most recent trip. While police remain open-minded in their official statements and maintain that all lines of inquiry remain open, popular theories suggest that the family fell victim to a violent robbery, leaving the younger daughter, Ariadne, the sole survivor. She is currently safe in police custody. Oh my god. God, they're all dead. This is a dead end. Husha left some documents at the library. Maybe there's something there. It's all that's left to check. Okay. We're going to the library. Shit. The fucking episode is not over. You know what? Grace... You fucking bitch, you are back up to look. back. You check out what else is in that notebook. You're up. We should just put it all on the line, dude. Let's send send Daniel. Fuck it. Gotta make sure my cat's okay. Oh god. The Great Library. I mean, I guess it looks pretty great. Why can't we just have the run of the place? You know what I mean? It's you think too there would quiet, be some people around. Even for a library. Right? 
Okay. Bean, do you want out? Do you want me to let you out? Okay. Okay, library is the great library. And I'm very surprised that this is, uh, still going. The Northern Advisor from August 27th. Must have had coffee spilt on it at some point. Um. This is a longer, this is a pretty long episode. I feel like I've been moving at a pretty solid pace, but like, legit, each episode's like two hours long. Two ancient copies of the Quran. These are historical treasures, and Omar is very fond of them. Um, because considering that there's like five chapters, five episodes, this game is actually, like, there's a fair amount of content. Like, it's actually, it's a dense game, you know, it's, it's a lot to it. Information about the library's rules. The sculpture is impressive. Everything about this university seemed that seemed like that to me when I first got here. I thought I was gonna find the answers to so many questions. That's just school in a nutshell, isn't it? Am I right, dude? These notes have all been crossed out. Doesn't help. The occult witchcraft? What's this? Has Professor Husher been reading these? Northern Advisor from August 27th. Okay. Great. If you need info, when it works, of course. Great if you need info, Jesus Christ. Okay, check these monitors. Okay, I just tapped A, and that seemed to work. What happened? No. The monitors? Shit. Where did that thing come from? Excuse me? Check the monitors. Are you fucking on me? Where is that? Oh shit! Hold on, is this whole fucking library a goddamn minefield? There's certain hallways that you do not want to walk down. That's fucking ridiculous. Ridiculous. That looks like the... So the bookshelves are like parallel to that... to that wall. Is that the same desk? Just from different angles? Oh my god. So you can't make the fucking wrong turn. we go up the ladder? Oh my god. Did I fuck it? Can I use the spotlight? Maybe not. Jesus. Busts of him everywhere. One wrong turn and you're screwed. I don't like that, dude. Can I like get a sneak peek here? It's around the next corner. The place is a minefield. No sir, I don't like it. There's something over there. Move it from here. Shit. What do you mean? 
There's an interactable here, but I can't get to it. You see that shit? There's that white dot there. Is that the ladder? Is it just the white dot is just cutting through? Fuck. Okay. That's where I need to get to, I think. I need to reach the back wall. Oh my god. The back wall was where all the hands were, dude. All the handies. How about going down this way? Oh, fuck. Maybe I can get to it if I walk all the way around. Look at this. There's a note. In which Atten was typically depicted as a sun disk emanating a radial series of arms ending in hands. Each hand held an ankh, a symbol of life, and collecting offerings. Collected offerings. Although, what are we reading here? Oh, does it like... Does the... the curse have like... origins in ancient Egypt? As part of his religious revolution, not only did Akhenaten get rid of all of such humanoid depictions, he also created, according to many Egyptologists, the first monotheistic religion. He named the Pharaoh as the god's sole representative on earth, thus disbanding and discrediting the priesthood. There are also strange depictions where Aten is replaced or perhaps opposed by a dark anthropomorphic figure also emanating a radial series of arms but in whose land hands the Ankh does not appear. Okay. That's interesting. So it's been around for a long time. I think is what they're trying to fucking say. One wrong turn. Oh man. Omar laughs at me for not knowing more, not knowing that this painting was of Ivan the Terrible. Man, I really don't care. That's super interesting. Okay, boys. We can run around. Oh fuck, it's blocked. My goddamn furniture! Shit. Watch this suit of armor come to life. Like it's goddamn Resident Evil 4. We gotta get to that hatch. That ladder. Oh, shit. Is it to the left here? Fuck. Nope. It's getting stronger. Gotta be careful. Yes. Jesus Christ. Okay. I think I'll. Hopefully, they'll let me get away with one, one or two of those. <laughs> you know what I mean? Show some goddamn mercy on my ass. Camera's turned off. What One last thing to do. Now I have to check the monitors again. What? Why? Okay, fuck. Let's take the same path back. I think it's the only... Okay. Shit. It's um. gonna stay that way. I don't think I can pull it up again. We'll just run straight. Run straight. No detours, dude.
Right, being the cat, no detours, man. Here we go. Let's check that goddamn monitor. That book? Is that what I need? I mean, this entire- what- How does this help me? Really? How does this really help? It's all- it all looks the same, dude. It's all the library. Kidding me? Okay, this one's by the globe, right? But look at there's fucking things everywhere. What are you supposed to do, dude? Climb up the ladder and take the stairs again? Maybe that's the safest route instead of walking along the floor? What do you guys think? Fuck. I think it's worth a shot. If I lose Grace, then you know what? I lose Grace. <laughs> we technically, we got three shots at this, okay? What's up, Ivan? Is that the book? No. Careful. Hold on. I recognize that fucking painting, though. Okay, can't go straight. Oh my god. Okay, I can't let it get me again. What? You're telling me I got one chance? So hold on, hold on. If the camera was up there, right? At the one up there, it's pointing this way. Oh, fuck. You guys, I don't know. The globe. That means the book is gonna be straight ahead. Down. Right here. No! So what, that's not the book? That's not what I'm trying to get to? Like, I don't even know what my fucking objective is. I don't know what it is I'm trying to find. What the fuck? <sighs> and it all looks the same, it's and the angles are so now. fucking Should deceiving. See if everything's okay. I'm so salty right now, in case you guys <laughs> couldn't tell. Grace is usually this game's got fast. so many cheap deaths. I'll go check up on her. Okay, Omar. You dick. <laughs> Come on. Okay. So I think I have everything right. Maybe I gotta, like, inspect the globe? Let's go look at camera number three again. I'm trying to reach the typewriter. Okay, thank you for fucking showing me. 
Maybe you showed me earlier, but I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> we got... Oh, they even talked about it, right? They talked about... All right. Everything looks calm. Yeah, I'm sure. It's all calm as shit. Where's the typewriter? It's not even in this fucking image. Where's the typewriter? It's like, how does this help me at all? Okay. Okay, we just gotta retrace our steps. And then try to make better decisions. Kind of unfair. It's really something. It's just trial and error, dude. Okay. From here, we take a left. There's the globe. The book. Can I switch my camera angle? Fuck. Oh my god. I don't know. Straight or left? Straight. Oh! <laughs> nope. Oh Not God. that way. What was that? Try this. Holy fuck, man. Gets me again. I'm doomed. This is such bullshit. That has to be Sebastian's desk. I'm close. Yes, sinister nature, bitch. Sinister nature. Okay. Interesting. Damn it. What? What happened? There was another Did... book about Argos Legrand in the library. A compilation of research trips written by two of his associates in the early I guess 1900s. He got out. Sinister Nature was a kind of narration of Legrand's frustrated trips in search of paranormal phenomena. With one of the last pages, Marked by Husha, the cursed counts at St. Cecilia's Abbey. St. Cecilia, the patron saint of music. I'm not sure what Husha wanted when he set out in Legrand's footsteps, or how long he planned on doing it. I guess but that's episode start, four? The best place to start looking, before it gets too late. Daniel's just along for the ride. He's sending his fucking subordinates to go <laughs> risk their lives poor grace dude she didn't stand a goddamn chance in that library no way why am i playing as husher what what isaac my dear friend you don't know what you've done with that cursed music box by the time you tried to warn me we had all heard the music now, I find myself trapped in a tragic race against time. I had a hunch. I thought that perhaps by returning the box to you... Damn it, I've been such a fool. 
Does he need I a lied, bag now? Isaac. I'm sorry. I just need you to hold on while I find a way to make things right. I left the house without telling Catherine. How could I possibly explain something like this? I thought she'd never believe me, and I was wrong. But now it's too late. I only hope you're all safe, and that you will find a way to forgive me. Damn, he just left his family to get fucked. I must put an end to By this once and for all. For my family, for you, and for my own sake. Argos Legrant. Everything revolves around that name. He was the person who had the box crafted and picked out the melody. I know he died in 1913. Newspapers of the day reported a violent burglary in his home. Everyone died, save for Ariadne, who was just a baby at the time. The case was closed, but something just doesn't add up. The Ariadne's police investigation be the key, right? was far too short-lived. And the bodies were not buried, but incinerated. Damn. I believe... I believe they were trying to hide the truth. I discovered that the book Natura Tenebrosa was written by two of Legrand's collaborators. The same two who followed him across Europe, researching all matter of ridiculous legends, all equally far-fetched. The last case in the book speaks of Legrand's last journey, on which he embarked just before making the music box. I've followed in his footsteps for weeks now, visiting every place, following every lead about that melody. Alas, I have reached the last leg of this journey, in the north. I find myself among the deserted ruins of St. Cecilia's Abbey, now covered in snow. Here, in 1912, the annual concert in honor of the patron saint of music was held. Legrand was not there at the time, but he came to investigate soon after. Every single person who attended that concert died or disappeared in mysterious circumstances, and the Abbey has been abandoned ever since. The connection is clear. I know there must be something here, a clue I can pursue. If not, I don't dare think about the future. I can barely distinguish what's real from what's not. Something is watching me, following me, drawing closer and closer by the day. The melody still haunts me. Its notes echo constantly in my head. With each passing minute, they sound more ghastly and foreign. I see darkness all around me, and shadows lurking in the corners. I see my world merging with something else. I see another place. The black figure. I feel it's... it's here with me. Is this the end? End of the road, interlude. Time to move. I have to find it. What are you doing, Husher? The stair must have collapsed. We're not getting out that way, boys. Map not available. So, hold up, does this mean that Husher is still alive, dude? My dude made it? It's taken me two hours to remove one of those floorboards. There's no way I'm getting... Oh, goddamn. Gotta work in that core strength, dude. A uh hope! -huh. Still strong. Okay. Can we use this to bust some shit open? Can I use the boards? Use this on the boards? I need a key, god damn it. I'm gonna just assume that these were all locked. 
Oh my god, there's stairs. Okay, hold up. Let's go try to use this hoe. Okay, we just did a we just did a lap. We just did a circle. Okay, never mind. I can't use it there. Let's check out the courtyard area, the center. This game is insane. I really like the story. I actually think it's super interesting and fascinating. Um, the game sometimes does get bogged down with some mundane shit. But, uh, I think the environments and a lot of the ideas and shit are really good. this? Flicked through the books. We probably gotta go upstairs, yeah? Finally seeing Husher, dude, and playing as him. What a twist. I didn't see it coming. Through the folds of the sheets, those remains have been here for decades. Don't look at the folds, dude. What happens if Husher dies? Is it just GG? He's my only goddamn character. Some sort of hydraulic steam. I have a strange feeling that we're gonna come back here in episode four with like Daniel, right? Plants still grow in these cans. Ugh. Wait a second. It's interesting. happened in here? What are they cooking up? What? I think by pressing the spring started the f water flowing. But there's not enough getting through to move that bookshelf. Excuse me? Enough water has to get to it. Corners are worn down. What are you asking me to do here? I need to like turn something on somewhere. Hmm. Let's follow this yellow pipe in the ceiling. Oh, well it leads right here. Well, let's go back. Very interesting. Let's check out the rest of the rooms here. Even though we do not have a map. It could also be one of those things. If we are going to come back here, look at this. Interesting. Maybe some of this will come into play once we're playing as Daniel. Shit, is that all that's up here? Oh, there's another door here. Pfft, need the key. We should probably check some of those the other doors downstairs. God damn. Oh fuck.
Okay, and we opened it with the hoe. Are you serious? It's nice and warm. Piping system. It's very complex. Here we go. Get the water going, now I go back upstairs. Look at them pipes, dude. Wait, 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 wait. He said he's gotta make sure I open all the valves? Where's the rest of the valves, dude? Well... Why is the piping so complex? That's bullshit. Okay. Let's do the rounds. Check all the fucking doors. Is this a door? It is. Oof. Look at this. How many more goddamn valves are there gonna be? I would say that something is still blocking it near here. Okay. smelling dark liquid. It's not a, what I like to hear. Okay. Uh. Got me another goddamn pipe. Another valve. Here is buzzing with flies. Smells like shit. Oh god. It smells worse than it looks. This is the fucking shitter, dude. And look. Can I not interact with this? There's a layer of damp and decay on every single surface in this room. It looks like there's something down there blocking the main drain. Usher, you gotta man up, bro. You gotta do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, dude. Oh! He, he's keeping it with him. What is that? Okay. Are we flowing now, dude? Do we got some goddamn flow? Let's go upstairs. I think we do. I think we're I think we're good. Okay, we're fucking in business. Alright, Husher. You're not so useless after all, dude. <laughs> Marks made by the prior. Some days ago now, I observed the brothers performing a strange ritual. They took turns to sit in front of a mirror and facing it, light the lamp, and then put it out. 
This shall remain as written testimony of everything that has been discovered and that has been passed on to me, as it may prove valuable to whomever, whomsoever finds it. Sitting in front of the mirror, they observe their own reflection and everything behind them. They then proceed to put the lamp out or, as, or dim its flame to the point that the eyes, blinded by its previous glow, no longer see. Thereupon, they light it once again and observe their reflections and everything behind them, repeating the process several times. And sometimes, God help us, the reflection shown in the mirror isn't what it should be. I can't begin to describe the horrors that appear. The mere act of committing them to paper is an insult to our Lord. But what I can say is that the more frequently these horrors appear, the closer they are and the less time we have until until they're no longer only the re in the reflection. So why would we want to do that then? Then don't do that! What the fuck was that, dude? I hope... I hope he can't get it open. Shit. Oh no. Oh no. This game is too scary right now. Scribblings of desperate monks, desperate like me. Fuck. Do we just go downstairs? Oh. Stairs are out. We're not going down there. Oh my god, how awful. Why are there so many bodies piled up here? Fuck, do we just try one of these? The wall's been furiously covered in crosses. Nobody can get in or out. What? If this works. Oh shit. Let's see how much I have left. Don't do it. Sebastian, you son of a bitch, you sick fuck. Don't, <laughs> don't do it. Fucking bitch. <laughs> That's it? End of episode three. On to episode four, the last concert. Well, guys, that has been episode three of Song of Horror. Uh, this is this was a fun one. I feel like this one I didn't uh, struggle with quite as much. Except for that goddamn library part. <laughs> uh, but, man, this game... It's really not bad. I get that it's not going to be for everybody. But, uh, I'm enjoying it. I'm enjoying it a lot. Anyways, guys, we'll be back. Hopefully not as long of a break in between episodes this time. <laughs> we'll be back with episode 4 in the near future. Thanks for watching. Peace! <laughs>